Good afternoon. The Queen and other members of the royal family have attended the annual Christmas Day church service at Sandringham. It was Her Majesty's first appearance since suffering a cold over the weekend. Missing the service, though, were the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and Prince Harry. Well, Nina Nanar is at Sandringham for us, so a warm reception for the Queen then, Nina. It was indeed a warm reception. There were about 1,000 well-wishers here, which is a smaller number than last year. But then, of course, the royal party this year is smaller uh, than it was last year. And as you say, that is because the uh, Duke and Duchess of Cambridge not able to be here today. Kate and William spending the day with the Middleton family at their village uh, in Bucklebury in Berkshire, a quiet private family day they're having there and of course Prince Harry who's an Apache pilot is serving in Afghanistan but the rest of the royal family were here this morning in Sandringham as is usual the Queen had made the journey to the church by car and the rest of the royal family had walked the uh, several hundred yards or so from the main house to attend the service at the church uh, on the estate I think what was notable was uh, how well the Duke of Edinburgh who's 91 how well he looked this time last year he was in hospital being treated for heart problems he looked very sprightly indeed today very happy he walked the distance to the church and back again and as you say the Queen herself considering she missed a service at the church on Sunday because she was as Buckingham Palace say at the tail end of a cold she looked very well indeed today and indeed she stood in line as some 100 children or so presented her with bouquets of flowers and she waited at least 10 minutes and received every single one of those bouquets in really really rather cold weather so she's looking very well indeed a very very happy family occasion today and uh, we'll be seeing a little bit more of the Queen later today won't we we will indeed, of course, in a couple of hours or so, we'll be seeing her uh, give her annual Christmas uh, TV address uh, broadcast for the first time this year in 3D. Uh, and in that address, uh, she is likely, of course, to pay tribute to the heroes of the Olympics and the Paralympics. And, of course, uh, she's bound to refer to what a special year it's been for her as well, the year of her Diamond Jubilee. So an awful lot for her to, to reflect on this year, but a very happy morning here. Uh, and no doubt the uh, family will be tucking into their Christmas dinner about now. <laughs> Thanks very much, Nina. And you can see the Queen's speech here on ITV1 and ITV1 HD at 3pm. In his final Christmas speech, the Archbishop of Canterbury has reflected on how the issue of women bishops has damaged the Church of England. Dr Rowan Williams, who steps down at the end of the month, also spoke of the people who have inspired him. Meanwhile, the head of the Catholic Church in England and Wales had attacked the government's plans for gay marriage. Nick Thatcher reports. He steps down next week as Archbishop of Canterbury with his church split on the issue of women bishops. But even though the latest census revealed that only 59% of people still identify themselves as Christians, Dr Rowan Williams said there was cause for optimism. In the deeply painful aftermath of the Synod's vote last month, what was startling was how many people who certainly wouldn't have said yes to the census question turned out to have a sort of investment in the church, a desire to see the church looking credible. And the future credibility of the church rests with his replacement, the Bishop of Durham, Justin Welby. Today, he joined other bishops in tweeting their sermons for the first time, in a bid to bring the meaning of Christmas to a new digital audience. At Westminster Cathedral, there was a controversial message from the leader of the Roman Catholic Church in England and Wales. Vincent Nichols attacked the government's plans for gay marriage in his Christmas Eve sermon and later said there was no mandate for changing the law, calling the proposals undemocratic and shambolic. And in his Christmas Day message, the Pope appealed for an end to the bloodshed in Syria and called for it to be made easier for relief efforts to get to refugees and the displaced. Nick Thatcher, ITV News. The M6 motorway in Staffordshire has been shut in both directions after a serious accident.